Last order of business is we're going to put text on the car. We're going to click on the T for text. And once you click on the T for text, it gives you, um, you know, horizontal, vertical. You want to do a horizontal text. So T for text, horizontal text. We're going to come into here and you're going to have a whole bunch of different fonts you can do. Okay. So let's just do a script one first. All right. A couple of things you're going to be able to do. I'm going to make the text color is right here. You click on this, you go to any color in the spectrum that you want. Okay. First thing I want to do is a white text. All right. I'm going to click on this, get to the color you want. I'm going to make this white. I'm going to hit okay. Now I'm going to click right here. And I am going to put the word loyalty. Loyalty. Now watch this. You're going to be able to write the word. This will change the size of it. If you highlight it, you could change the font size, make it eight. You could make it bigger if you want. I believe it was like a 24. Let's say that it was like a gigantic, like 150, right? You can click the move tool and move it. And you can also hit control T and keep the proportions all right now you can put the word loyalty right over here this is how people get ideas for stickers on their car and you kind of make it the right um size shrink it a bit more boom so now we got loyalty some people put it over here as well like on their cars over there which i think is an eyesore whatever so you got that there right all right so that's fine <clears throat> now um all right so now you have the word loyalty over there I'm going to stick with the word loyalty and I'll take this away really quickly. So why I'm going to move this out of the way really fast. Now check this out. I'm going to write the word loyalty, but I'm not going to use that font. I'm going to use a different one. I will write it in like a, a different font. I'll do it in this one right here. No. Yeah, this one's fine. So let's say I want to put the word loyalty in a different font. All right. So watch, I'm going to highlight this and I have the loyal L. O-Y-A-L-T-Y, -Y, right? Loyalty. So now watch this. Um, this is fine. I'm going to click the move tool. I will put this one right over here. And now watch this. I'm going to hit control T. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. I'll put it like over here. Now what I'm going to do with this is you could do a couple of different things. You could make it go this way and you can place the font over here on like uh, the bottom somewheres. You could overlap it and you can hit control T. Whoopsie. On the loyalty, loyalty. Oh, and a text layer names itself. Bring it all the way up to the top and you'll take the loyalty layer, control T. We'll shrink it down and you could put it like right over here, real small if you wanted to. You know, on the sides over here. Now, I want to show you guys something really unique. You can come over to here and place it here. Now, watch this. Let's click the Move tool. And we have it here. Now, watch this. I can highlight this word over here. And after you have highlighted the word, you're able to come over to this thing right here. Um, and once you click on this, 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 um, this is the text wrap editor you can come here and we're going to make an arch and check this out you can put the arches on the word so you could take loyalty let's say that's good and you can take the word loyalty now and you can put it over the wheel well you know and if it's still not good enough for it no problem we can come here go back to the arch and make the arch go a little bit even more of an arch like that and then hit okay hit control t shrink it and come over to here boom and you have the word loyalty kind of like as a wheel well you know um like that you could also lower the opacity of it you could lower the opacity of it and another thing watch this this is the last thing i'm going to show you so you could do that and you know have your name you can put your name on the car i don't care so check it out my football number when i was in high school like let's relive my glory years here it was number 45 so let's say that the Miami Dolphins has a specific number of a guy that's amazing, and he's number 45, kind of like how I was, right? So we're going to make this 45 ginormous, right? You can slip it over here. Now watch this. I'll take that number 45, 
and let's say I wanted to keep it on the hood like this over to about maybe here oopsie on the hood like that all right all right so like I said I have the number 45 here um, if I hold a uh, control you can actually change the angles now of these things so if I want the number 45 to kind of be on the front of the hood like that you can actually do it like that by holding control and you um, are able to constrain whoopsie boom holding control you can change these angles all right so that's good so I'll put number holding control we'll put it like that and now boom you have the number 45 right there right um we'll make it a little bit bigger boom so now I'll shrink this a little bit more um just enough right about there now watch this I'm going to take my number 45 and watch this. If you right click on this thing and you go to rasterize type, now the type, you can't change anything about it. It's now an image. So you can now, you can lower the opacity of it a little bit. You could also make it an overlay. You can make it like an overlay, right? And then if you want it to be like an overlay, that's fine. But now check this out. You can keep the number 45 on there, whatever it is. It could be your name, whatever. And now check this out. You can go to the eraser tool. And once you're in the eraser tool, you have these brushes. Now watch this. These are general brushes. You can go to, uh, let's see, let's check out the general brushes. There should be one that kind of lets you like erase it. No, 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 it's not, not in here. Dry media brushes now. Look at this. It's got a whole bunch of, oh, look at this, this, this one. It's got like, uh, watch this. On the number 45, oh, I'm sorry, it's a paintbrush. You want to go to an eraser. And in the eraser, ah, I'm struggling. All right, so we made it a raster graphic, right? We changed this into a, a we rasterized the number 45. So check this out. You can go into here. And as you're into uh, the, you know, you go into the tools. Whoopsie. You go into the eraser tool. As you drop the menu here, you have these other things. So let's say like you click on this. Now watch this. Um, let me show you what this does. So this here would be like a brush. Oh, sorry. You could drop this menu. You could go into a whole bunch of these other ones. So you have special effects brushes. You can go into here and watch this. Check this out. You hit this drop menu. And maybe I want to do this. And I want to put some special effects on here. So look. Now I got like little little special effect graphics going on on the number 45 and you can kind of like make it look like uh you know it's got stuff going on around it whoopsie control z um now you're starting to like kind of like you know you got stuff like that going on now let's say i did too much you can click your eraser tool and then you can erase little spots that you feel you went too over like on the headlight and now you got the number over here you see how that is and um these are all little options for you that you guys are able to do and you can also play with the opacity of it and things like that you could take away the overlay and make it look normal you know it's entirely up to you but if you do go back to normal you might want to erase parts over here all right so you now know how to put text on a car you know how to put it in different spots of the car you know how to use the text wrap which is this part right here the horizontal tool after you've highlighted a text you guys know how to play with these and look you can play with all of them there's arch wave there's all the, you can make it into a flag look at that your text can go in so many different ways all right so you guys are now learning all different ways you can place text all over your car all right so now i'm going to delete this over here all right sorry about that i'm going to delete this i'm going to now delete this layer over here and that's it so we now have text on our car we know how to put logos on our car. We know how to put graphics on our car. Multiple different types of graphics we've learned. All right. We know how to put the word on our car like this regularly, which you could easily do. I just want to make sure you know how to put text on something. All right. Again, you should bring this text layer all the way up to the top too, where it's next to the other one, you know. And then um, you guys did window tints. 
here's what I really want of you. I don't care all of your, whatever you got going on on your car. As long as you guys are able to do this and take away all of your layers and show me the original car, what we started with, and then later on, show me all the graphics that you've added to it. These are uh, these attest to all the different skills that you have learned up to this point. And the last one is for keeping the original car. Um, and you've learned the lasso tools, the eraser tools, and the text tools. And you've learned the concept of layers, transparencies, and you've learned how to play with different um, different settings in here that are for you know um, you know different visuals based on the images that you guys have. Okay. And that concludes the car unit. And now we're going to go on to Andy Warhol.